I am Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. As you know here at Sarnet we have got a variety of companies that we do some work with with respect to installation and one of the companies happens to be a company called Starcar uh, which is basically based in Newburgh, Oregon. A great little company it is, a family owned business. Uh, they work on weekends, nights, days, whatever it takes to get the job done and they really do turn out some beautiful vehicles. The one I'm driving right now actually happens to be a Chevrolet Yukon. It's the pursuit spec vehicle. We're not going to be doing any pursuit driving today, but the vehicle itself is being set up to be used as a sergeant's vehicle. And we have got a variety of special equipment that we're going to be installing into it, including a console, which we have purposely acquired for this particular vehicle, along with a Code 3 Mastercom siren and a variety of different switching units that have been put in to allow us to release, in this particular vehicle's case, uh, weapon systems. Also there's a nice armrest included as well, and that armrest allows you to, if you have to drive with one hand, you can do it, but also of course to utilize the computer, which will also be put into this vehicle as well, and we'll get some footage of that once it's put into play. Um, a variety of different lighting has been installed around the vehicle. Got to get a good look at that too, along with a Liberty light bar on the roof. The nice thing about this particular vehicle is the way we've set it up, it can be used for a variety of different applications. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a sergeant's vehicle. It could be a battalion chief vehicle in the fire department. Again, we're going to take a look at all the different options that we put into this vehicle. So let's go check it out right now. And as you can see, here's the, here's the console box that we were talking about. You've got your Motorola radio installed in this particular box, along with a Mastercom siren amplifier and switch pack. So again, you can do your one, two, three slider position, as well as a variety of different switching options. We'll turn those on in a minute. This button down here, or this switch down here, actually releases the shotgun when that need arises. We then also have included are some outlets would allow you to run a radar or charge a cell phone. If the need arises, you can go ahead and do that. And again, very nicely spaced. You've got your variety of different microphone applications, one for the radio, one for the PA system is included. Down here are two drinks holders with the ability to adjust that. And once you find the right position, you put it into a lock mode. So if you have a big gulp, you can go ahead and put that in if you need to. And of course, there also happens to be a armrest in position here again. There will be a computer which in fact will get mounted in that area. Let's go quickly pull this vehicle forward. I know. Pull this vehicle forward. And then we'll get the camera to move in a second. But if you take a look down the side here, we actually have a Pelican flashlight. This particular customer happens to use a Maglite product with a charger, that's what that ring does. And again, they're mounted down here with nice and ease from the ability to be able to take it out and pull it. You've got your map light in position, which you can turn it on, position it, and turn it off. And as you can see, there's plenty of space up here to allow you to operate your air conditioning controllers, also able to operate your uh, heat selector as well as your AM FM radio if that's what you wish to do or if you want to throw CDs in there listen to some music I guess you could do that if you're working late at night again the, the setup is pretty generic in the sense that whether this was a lease vehicle as it happens to be a fire department vehicle or even to a degree public works vehicle obviously you wouldn't have a siren but you do have the ability to mount in different pieces of equipment as the need arises Right, as I said earlier, there's going to be a variety of different pieces of equipment additional to what you've already seen put into this vehicle. This is something interesting. It is a ballistic shield that has been mounted onto the back seat of the driver. And the object here is you can take the shield out. Let's just move it across here for a second. And this particular piece of bracketry is something that has been fabricated by Siren install and star car. And this particular bracket actually mounts to the headrest. There's no holds board in this particular seat. 
And the nice thing about this is that if you have a ballistic shield, and a lot of agencies have these type of shields, we now have the ability for you to mount this shield in a vehicle similar to this one, very simply by attaching a specific bracket that's shown in this vehicle to the actual handle area, which is on the back here. I'll just lift it up, position it, drop it into place, and it's in place nice and sturdy. And of course, in the event, an unfortunate situation might occur, but it does happen from time to time where somebody decides to fire some live round ammunition. If they do do that, at least this shield would potentially protect the driver if a bullet was to come through from the back of the car. Now again, it's not designed to do that, but it does allow you to store it. And in the event, it does give you the opportunity, at least something is behind your back in that respect. So again, little piece of product that the folks there at Starcar very cleverly put together. One of the nice things that they did is they also mounted the radios, in this case what's known as the VRM, underneath this third seat, because obviously the, the other passenger rear seat has been removed, and you can clearly see it mounted underneath here. Very nice flushed into the floor area. And again, you've got the ability to have an officer sitting comfortably in the back here if the need arises. Okay, as you can see here, lots of space, not much equipment in play. Well, that's all about to change. In fact, over at Install, right now, they have put together a Pacific cabinet box that was being built here in Oregon to go into this vehicle. And in fact, we're going to be offering some of these cabinet boxes to other customers throughout the Pacific Northwest and in fact throughout the West. We will also be making it available in the not too distant future to folks on the East Coast. But essentially, a cabinet box will be put into this open area where I'm currently pointing to, and that will then allow different pieces of equipment to be stowed away nice and safely. So again, as I said, there's going to be a lot more installation happening on this vehicle, but mainly on the inside. So right now, let's go check out the different lighting that we put into this vehicle. Okay, as I turn this vehicle around and quickly drive towards the camera, basically what you will see in this vehicle, we put in a variety of pretty straightforward lighting. We've got a Liberty Light Bar mounted up on the roof, which is tied into the Mastercom control unit. We also have a set of headlight flashers, which are flashing away here in the grill. Also included inside the vehicle are some Whelan TIR-6s, which have been mounted inside the grill. We've also mounted lower down in the air dam area, we have mounted in some 2E series, or basically PAR 36 LEDs, also available from the folks over at Whelan. It's got some mirror beams mounted on the uh, left and right outside mirror area, as you can clearly see as well. And also firing away, of course, in the light bar are the forward-facing takedowns, which, of course, can also steady burn as well. So that's, again, the sort of options that you have as far as being able to do that. The light bar, of course, has left and right alleys. Takedowns are included. We'll take a quick look at the rear of the car right now. And as you can see on the back of the vehicle, we've got the Liberty Light Bar. We've also got mounted in the rear window area. We happen to have a set of slim lighters, red and blue, of course. And we have Vertex hideaways mounted also in the rear area, left and right turn signals. And of course, Vertexes are also mounted up in the front of the vehicle as well. And as we quickly turn, you will clearly see that we have mounted on the side window area in the rear, of course, we have got some Avengers. In this case, they're dual Avengers, red, blue. Well, there you have it. A good lighting package available here on Sarnet.com. So don't forget, go right ahead and check it out. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching Sarnet TV.